Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm using the Corsair HA's AT wireless headset for about 5 months more or less now and this headset has served me very well, especially in my gaming session and not only. Sure, they are not the most expensive and fancy headset out there but if we have to consider the price tag and the range I believe for 100 or 120 bucks it depends on if you can find it in discounted. These are the best choice. In today's video I want to go through some audio advances setup, the equalizer settings too, in order to get the best audio possible, especially in games. Before starting with all the settings, keep in mind that there are two ways to connect the headsets, wireless and with a USB cable. If you connect it with a USB cable, you can possibly have a more high quality output, even though in most cases you probably couldn't hear the difference especially in games, most of them do not have high-res sound design and not all, not all of them are compatible with Adobe Atmos. Anyway, for not leaving any settings on the table, I will start the setup using first the headsets connected with a USB cable and then on wireless. Guys, there are two ways we can get the audio advanced from these headsets. The first way is using the Dolby Atmos app. As you might know, this headset comes with a Dolby Atmos license, lifetime license. So, so you can download and install the Dolby Access app from the Microsoft Store free and you will have the uh, lifetime license from uh, this headset. So whenever you connect the headset to the, to the computer, you are going to, and you open the Dolby Access app, you are going to have the license enabled. Before going through the settings of the Dolby Access, remember to go through the sound properties of the headsets and enable the special audio. One thing to do before going through the settings of the Dolby Access is to enable the special audio. Otherwise, in this case, we are going to choose Dolby Atmos for headphones. Because if you don't enable the special audio, when you open the Dolby Access, it's going to say enable Dolby Atmos. So we, we have to enable it and go through settings of Dolby Access. If you have seen my video on the Xbox headset wireless settings, audio settings, uh, this is pr uh, basically the same app as you can get on the Xbox Series X or One X is the same. And the same app you are going to get also on the PC. As we can see, we have four presets here. One is game, movie, music and voice. You can use these presets if and you can try if those presets are OK with you. Keep in mind, guys, that most of the audio settings um, depends on the headsets of course if you if you have a good headset you are going to listen the audio properly but depend especially in gaming uh, depends a lot from the sound design uh, as you might know so let me make an example example the modern warfare 2 that is coming out now in uh, 10 15 days and now in two weeks more or less if i'm not wrong then some um People have reported that the footstep, for example, whatever settings you are going to set on the audio and everything else, the footsteps are going to be always too much loud, even if your uh, headsets are with a flat equalizer. Uh, that is a sound design. So in this case, if the sound design is that, <laughs> you don't need even to set the, um, the headset. I don't know if you, guy, if you guys have participated in the demo of the um, Modern Warfare. Uh, I have done it. I believe that that have made this sound design for allowing most of the people to um, have those kind of um, sound um, advanced sound properties to listen to footsteps. I think that is wrong because otherwise in is is inside on the sound design of the game, so you cannot change that. I believe that 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 is wrong because you have to in case you have to change through your headphones. You don't have to include it as a default on the game. Otherwise, that doesn't make sense because you are going to be always be listening from other. So as I was saying, here we have the per per performance mode. I have tested this one and it's okay. It's working pretty nice. I have to say, you can decide to disable the performance mode and choose one of these preset equalizers on this game preset so you can choose one of these the target balance and warm whatever else i have tried performance mode enabled and i have to say this is okay movies usually i when i watch movies through my computer i choose to leave it on balance it i select movies here on dolby access and leave it on balance it sometimes on detail it depends on on the movie and it's working pretty well i have to say nothing to complain about that um, music i'm not an audio engineer i'm 
not an expert on how you can get full detail it on the um, all the equalizers but i believe something between balance said is mm, is okay more or less and the fourth one is voice i use this preset usually on meetings or on, on video calls i use the headset also for the meetings or video calls and i have to say that the preset voice is working pretty nice then here we have the custom presets so you can decide one of these custom presets to change all the sliders so as we have seen in the Dolby Access um, app on the Xbox which is the same app as here this slider seat doesn't have a measurement in dB so you, whatever you are moving you don't know how much you are moving so you have to go let's say by testing every time you're moving those sliders more or less if you are between 0 and minus 6 something here should be minus 3 this is something um, I don't like particularly. I have to say because I want to be I want to be sure on how much dB I'm changing. So here we have three custom presets. You can choose those custom presets if you are not okay with one of these presets here that we have. That you can actually not change them. You cannot change the settings here besides some of these small settings here. So if you are not okay with them, you can go here and you can choose to change all these sliders here. Personally, I don't use that much the Dolby Access uh, app. I use it, let's say, for the voice preset when I'm some meetings and everything else. And for movie, when I'm watching some video or some movies, I use usually those two presets. For gaming and also for music sometimes, I have to be honest. But um, a movie is working also for music to me personally. Um, so for gaming, I'm when i'm for my gaming sessions i'm not using the game preset but but i'm using instead the iq settings so let's heads up to the iq software and check what we can do also there first of all because you can have more control on the equalizer and also the mic volume side tone and other settings for example the last settings that uh, they have included is the nvidia broadcast technologies for the noise removal and from room uh, eco removal also so i believe this is uh, more complete for this um, specific headset at least i believe that using iq is going to be more beneficial for the audio advanced advanced audio setup so for enabling the equalizers and all the settings here we have to disable the dolby atmos from the sound properties of the headphones so i'm going to click on off and if we move back to iq and we have all the equalizer presets um, as we can see guys you have some of these presets which are five the first one is bass boost which i don't know who is going to use this is really a bass boost heavy bus boost clear chat which i have noticed is a little bit similar to what is the um, equalizer voice on the dolby access so this is um, similar but i believe the voice on equalizer on dolby access is working better if you want to listen only the voice and if you are using the headset for meetings or video calls or whatever else the fps competition i think is something you can start from from but i believe this one is not enough and i don't like it personally you can try if it's okay with you but personally i don't like this setting of this fps uh, competition movie theater is um, basically the equivalent of movies in dolby access app i believe that movie and voice at least to me uh, sounds better on using the Dolby Access. And then we have the Pure Direct, which is completely everything flattened to 0 dB. Alright, if you click on this plus button here, you are going to add um, a preset starting from basically the, um, the Pure Direct. So from here you can start and moving all the sliders. One thing that I've noticed and, I, and personally I like it is that whenever you move one of these sliders here, you are going to see also, for example, how many dB you are decreasing or increasing usually for noticing the difference in what you are um, listening you should start from decreasing the frequencies that usually are used for boosting the bass in this case uh, 32 
hertz 64 and 125 usually i leave them minus three the usually minus three and this minus one more or less so from here i start listening if the bass is okay from the sounds and from whatever else for example let's say um you are in a in a sustained game scenario when there are explosions on shootings or missiles or whatever else so you don't want to listen that uh, that heavy sound that bass heavy sound so i usually start from decreasing minus three to me it's okay starting from here so for listening the steps the loading of the weapon and all those uh, other effects uh, what is hap where those effects are happening is in the mid range between 500 hertz and 4 kilohertz more or less this is a spectrum when all these mid regions mid ranges are happening i don't touch at all the 250 hertz so i start from here usually going up to plus 3 db or 4 it depends the frequencies between 1 kilohertz and 2 kilohertz are the most important to me at at least i've noticed that as mo that are the most important to me so i i move up those sliders up to um, plus nine sometimes plus ten also it depends on the game um, both of them to plus nine and the 4k and the four kilohertz is also mid-range but you don't want the sound of what you're listening uh to become a little bit metallic but choose bit plus seven more or less here but of course i am um, as i was saying before it depends on the sound design of the game some games this might be okay in other games mm, you might not like it i have found these settings to be more or less the settings that you are going to see here to be more or less okay with call of duty battlefield and games like like those shooters mm, basically to be more or less okay so let's move usually the uh, 8 kilohertz i move it um, 1 2 db and the 16 kilohertz i didn't touch it because uh, from 8 kilohertz to 16 kilohertz is amazingly difficult for us to listen the differences what is happening in those specs. i believe this is something at least to me it's more it's more or less working uh with most of the shooters so this is something that you can start for from Again, audio settings is something really personal and depends on your taste, on how you want to listen to certain sounds, on how is the perception of the audio on the games. And this is something totally depending from person to person. So this is something you can start from. You can, I will leave these settings here. So you guys, if you want, you can uh, check those settings and you can copy. Now you can copy those settings. For example, let's say these settings are okay with a certain game. So you want to start from those settings and change them to be okay with another uh, game you can just copy but as we can see we have this here the copy of the equalizer preset number 10 uh, the name of course you can change it because <laughs> you cannot uh, go around with uh, this equalizer preset because otherwise you are not going to know which of those presets are applied to which specific game you want to use so double click on the name of the preset and you can change it for example let's say call of duty I'm going to call it test so you can change the name of all this preset no the only name you cannot change is of these presets by Corsair pure pure direct movie theater and whatever else you, you cannot change them you can not delete and whatever else you can just copy and you can start from this from that uh, settings another thing you can do is move the sliders of these presets as you can see there are, those sliders are basically locked as they are here but you can do one thing you can copy and from there you can start changing all these uh, sliders here and of course you can change the name here let's say fps so if you want to start from this if you let's say if you are more or less okay with these settings here you can just copy them and start from here another thing useful this is um used on the um, on the microphone is the nvidia broadcast technologies uh, i don't know how many of you guys are using the nvidia broadcasting for streaming or recording everything else personally i don't use that but the that technology which is working pretty fine i have to say and it's based it's based on the codec of the um, nvidia gpus is 
now is has been included in iq and as you can see we have the noise removal and the room echo removal which i find to be um, useful i've tested in a couple of scenarios and they are more or less okay this is something you can start from the intensity of this those effects i start from 50 percent usually or 25 percent it depends on you uh, you can start from 25 percent to listen how those effects are applied to your microphone uh, besides the microphone is something really amazing on this headset so i don't know how much these nvidia broadcast technologies are going to be helpful but for ecos i believe that is going to be helpful for noise removal also if you have fans or if you have um, air conditioning on the room or whatever else you are, you are having that might help um, i'm sure about that and here you can test the results of the microphone with those effects applied and if you have other sounds on the background these are the settings with uh, usb as we can see here when this i'm connected to usb i've started with the usb settings when you disconnect the usb cable and turn on the headsets in wireless mode let's say all right here we go so as we can see we are connected in wireless mode and the equalizer is still the same equalizer one thing to, rem to remember guys is that whenever you are connecting with a usb or in wireless mode you have to go through the audio settings and change the properties in in your headphone you have to change the properties and disable the dolby access because when you are connected with a usb mode you can choose to enable or disable the dolby uh, atmos and so on you can do with also in wireless mode so for example let's say you are using the headset with a usb connected using the iq profiles and if you want to connect it in wireless because you are watching a movie or you want to have a call you enable the Dolby Atmos profile so you are using um, the Dolby Atmos instead of IQ so you have to keep in mind that if you want to use that you can use the USB mod for one thing and the wireless mod for, an, for another thing that's all for this video hope you guys found it useful these are not settings that you must use but I believe this is something you can start from in order to get the best possible audio from these headsets which I believe are doing a great job in their price range let me know in the comments if you are using advanced setting audio settings on your headphones and from which point you have started. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Thanks for watching.